first step in making a crimp connection is to make sure you have a smooth and even cut. You take your PEX cutter to the pipe and make sure it's lined up 90 degrees and you make your cut. Next, you're gonna take your crimp ring, slide it onto the tubing, and then pick whatever fitting you wanna place on and slide it back approximately 1 8 of an inch away from the fitting. Next, you're gonna take your crimp tool, place it 90 degrees, and make your connection. This little tool right here will come with your crimp tool. So after you make a connection, you wanna be extra careful. You can just place it over your connection and if it goes all the way through, that means your connection is good. If the connection isn't good or you realize you put on the wrong fitting, you can use a decrimping tool to remove it. But first, you're going to have to cut the tubing. So just like before, you take your cutter to the tube. Then you take your decrimp tool and insert it and then simply squeeze. It's available in brass or poly, and obviously you'll need a crimp tool and crimp rings for connection. Unless you're using the clamp method, then you'll need the cinch tool with cinch clamps. These are the biggest manufacturers of crimp and cinch fittings by brand. Crimping is compatible with all types of PEX tubing except for PEX Alpex.